Good morning. Welcome to our last gear tutorial on our sleeping system. So we have this sleeping bag, we have this sleeping pad, we have this sleeping bag liner, and today we have this sleeping pillow, the backpacking pillow, okay? Real quick, uh, this is not a necessary item, all right? This is a luxury item. For 10 years, I, you know, your sleeping bag is going to come with a compression sack. And for 10 years, I took that compression sack at night and I stuffed all of my unworn clothing in it, right? Um, and then I took my fleece jacket and I wrapped it around the compression sack. And that was my pillow at night. So for 10 years, I made my own pillow and it was comfortable and it was perfect, right? You work with the resources that you have. You don't have to carry unnecessary gear. A sleeping, you know, a backpacking pillow is an unnecessary item. Um, it's a total luxury item. Now, with that being said, they are really comfortable. Um, I do carry it. It is more comfortable than my uh, compression sack self-made pillow. Um, which is why I carry it. I think, you know, a couple years ago, I had a friend carry this specific pillow, and I think I used it one night and discovered its amazingness. And so I went out and I spent, you know, the $29.99 or however much they are, somewhere around that range, on the backpacking Sea to Summit pillow. Uh, I think you might begin to notice that I like Sea to Summit a lot. I think it's a really good outdoor gear brand. Um, so real quick, I guess the con of this would be it's an extra item in your pack that you got to pack up every morning, okay? Uh, the pro is that it is really comfortable and um, I find it to be more comfortable than my self-made pillow that I did for 10 years. Um, but you know, it's luxury, you can make your own pillow, it's going to work just fine with the resources that you have. I did find in the winter time though. Um, when I would wear all my clothing at nighttime because it was so cold, I no longer had clothing to put in my stuff sack for my pillow. So, um, just things to think about, I guess. Um, I just can't, I can't stress enough that this is a luxury item and not a necessary item, okay? Um, pretty much you have two different kinds of backpacking pillows. Uh, Perhaps the closed cell and the open cell is the best way to think about it. So, you know, you'll have foam pillows or cotton pillows or kind of like pillows that you have in your house, right? Think about stuffing those pillows down. Well, it has material in the inside that prevent you from really compacting it, right? Well, a backpacking pillow that has the feathers or the foam or the cotton or the material is inside it, it's going to be really hard to compress, all right? It's going to take up more space in your pack. It's going to weigh a little bit more because it has materials in the inside. So that's one type of backpacking pillow you're going to find. The other type of backpacking pillow you're going to find is that open cell or that air pad pillow, which is what I have, all right? These are awesome because it stuffs down really, really tiny. Um, taking up hardly any space in your pack, as well as um, not adding hardly any weight to your pack, which is key, all right? And then at nighttime, when you're ready to go to bed, since it's air, you just gotta blow it up. It takes about three, three breaths. All right, uh, forgive my coffee cream stains. Anyways, three breaths and it's super firm. I wouldn't go any more than that. So super simple to blow up, super lightweight. You hardly even notice it's there. Packs down really easy, super comfortable. It's total luxury. You don't have to carry it. But if you are going to carry a pillow, I do recommend the blow up open cell air pillows, all right? And I think you're looking about 29, maybe 39 on the high end for a backpacking pillow. 
Now the foam ones, or the closed cell, the ones with the material on the inside, um, you will, you can find those cheaper, for sure. Um, the cost though is going to be its compressibility. Cheers.